Hey, my famous fans, buckle up because today's scoop is hotter than ever. If you thought celebrity scandals couldn't get any juicier, think again. We're diving deep into the jaw-dropping drama surrounding none other than Sean Diddy Combs. From being the king of bad boy records to landing in serious legal trouble, this is one for the history books. With accusations of misconduct and a twist straight out of a crime novel, Combs is officially in the fight of his life. Oh, and did I mention he's under close watch? Yep, it's that bad. Let's spill all the tea on what's really going down. Now, where do we even begin with this roller coaster of a story? Let's rewind the clock to better understand the rise of Sean Diddy. Combs? The mogul whose name was once synonymous with success, luxury, and boundless creativity. Born Sean John Combs, Diddy grew up in Harlem, New York, and soon became a pivotal figure in the music industry. His journey from a young intern at Uptown Records to founding his own label, Bad Boy Records, was nothing short of extraordinary. Diddy was a man of many talents, a producer, rapper, entrepreneur, and fashion designer. Bad Boy Records became home to some of the most iconic names in hip-hop, including the notorious B.I.G., Faith Evans, and Mace. It was the golden era of 90s hip-hop, and Diddy was at the forefront, crafting hits that defined a generation. His flashy lifestyle, luxurious parties, and constant media presence made him larger than life, he was everywhere on TV, at award shows, on magazine covers, Diddy was the culture. And let's not forget his venture into fashion with his clothing line, Sean John, which cemented him as a tastemaker and trendsetter. But the glittering exterior was hiding some dark secrets, and as the years went by, rumors about Diddy's behind-the-scenes dealings began to surface. There were whispers of bad business practices, broken promises to artists, and questionable legal agreements. However, Diddy remained untouchable for a while. Fast forward to now, and the man who once ruled the music industry like a king is facing charges that could spell the end of his reign. Sean Diddy. Combs has reportedly been placed under close observation after being denied bail following serious legal allegations. Yep, you heard that right. The guy who gave us I'll Be Missing You is now facing the very real possibility of spending the rest of his life behind bars. According to sources, Diddy is in shock, unable to process the gravity of the charges against him. And honestly, who could blame him? This is not a typical fall from grace, it's a nose dive straight into the abyss. Let's take it back for a second, the accusations against Diddy are as shocking as they are serious. We're talking misconduct on a massive scale. If this sounds like something ripped from a crime drama, that's because it is. The indictment against Diddy is a whopping 14 pages long detailing a criminal enterprise that allegedly profited off the exploitation of others. According to prosecutors, Diddy wasn't just running a successful music label, he was running a criminal empire. And the federal government isn't playing games, they've got receipts. The feds allege that Diddy used his power, influence, and vast network of connections to exploit vulnerable individuals, forcing them into horrific situations. The details are disturbing stories of manipulation, coercion, and threats. And as if that weren't enough, there's also the accusation that Diddy used intimidation tactics against his rivals and competitors. I mean, it's like a twisted episode of Breaking Bad, but with Diddy playing the role of a crime boss. Now. Let's talk about The Close Watch. For those who don't binge true crime documentaries guilty, being under observation is no joke. It means Diddy is being observed around the clock, with guards making sure he doesn't take any drastic measures. It's a grim reality check for someone who was once in complete control of their life. But now Diddy is powerless, sitting in a cold, dimly lit cell at the Metropolitan Detention Center in Brooklyn, New York. And folks, let me tell you, this is no fancy prison. The Metropolitan Detention Center is infamous for its terrible conditions. It's overcrowded, violent, and quite frankly, a place where people either fight to survive or succumb to the harsh environment. We're talking moldy food, limited access to medical care, and rampant outbreaks of disease. The New York Times even described the facility as hell on earth. So yeah, Diddy is definitely not living the high life anymore. But this is far from the first time Diddy's name has been linked to controversy. In fact, his legal troubles date back years. Remember that infamous nightclub incident in 1999 involving Diddy and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez? 
Or how about the various lawsuits that have followed him throughout his career? Whether it's being accused of bad behavior or dealing with disputes over artist contracts, Diddy has never been a stranger to the courtroom. However, nothing compares to the magnitude of what he's facing now. At 54 years old, Diddy is looking at charges that could put him away for life. And while he's no stranger to drama, the legal storm he's in now is on a whole new level. In the past, he's managed to skate by with settlements and apologies, but this time, there's no easy way out. If convicted, Diddy's legacy will be forever tainted, not by his chart-topping hits, but by the serious crimes he's accused of committing. But wait, there's more. The drama doesn't stop at Diddy. His ex-girlfriend, Cassandra Cassie Ventura, plays a pivotal role in this unfolding scandal. Back in November 2023, Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy, accusing him of assault and misconduct. The allegations sent shockwaves through the music industry and within 24 hours, they settled out of court. However, the damage was done and more individuals started coming forward with their own stories of abuse. Cassie, ladies and gentlemen, made her grand return to the public eye right after Sean Diddy Combs' jaw-dropping arrest. Coincidence? Oh, honey, not in Hollywood. Our girl was strutting through the streets of New York City on Wednesday, and let's just say she wasn't exactly playing the part of the grieving ex. No, Cassie was all smiles, as if Diddy's legal disaster was nothing but yesterday's news. Picture this Manhattan, midweek, and there's Cassie, serving looks in an all-black outfit like she's attending a fashion funeral. The real kicker? That bucket hat and chic black bag combo because who says you can't be fabulous while your ex faces the music? She wasn't alone, of course. The Bad Boy Records founder apologized to her in an Instagram video six months later after CNN obtained surveillance footage of him beating Cassie in a hotel in 2016. No, no, no. She had her gal pal, Sarah Snedeker, right by her side sharing all the laughs. You know what they say, new chapter, new vibe. Now let's rewind to the not-so-distant past Cassie dated Mr. Diddy on and off for over a decade, yes, a decade. From 2007 to 2018, it was a roller coaster ride of drama, breakups, and makeups that we all low-key lived for. And while Diddy, the so-called Grammy winner, was cooling his heels in custody after his shocking Monday night arrest. Cassie seemed completely unbothered. That smile, oh, it spoke volumes. Was she laughing at Diddy's fall from grace or just relieved to be free from all that baggage? Either way, you know we'll be watching what happens next. While Diddy has denied all the allegations, it's becoming harder to believe his version of events, especially with the mounting evidence against him. And get this, during the investigation, authorities raided his Miami and Los Angeles homes. What they found will make your jaw drop. Among the items confiscated were illegal substances, weapons, and other suspicious materials. Seriously, what was he preparing for World War III? Now let's talk about Diddy's legal defense. His attorney, Mark Agnifilo, is one of the top defense lawyers in the country, and he's made it clear that Diddy intends to fight these charges tooth and nail. In a statement to the press, Adni Filo said, Sean is innocent of these charges and we will prove it in court, but with the mountain of evidence piling up against him, it's going to be an uphill battle. And let's not forget the court of public opinion, which, let's be honest, is already casting its judgment. So what's next for Sean Diddy Combs? Well, if history has taught us anything, it's that these high-profile cases can drag on for years. And while Diddy is putting on a brave face, the reality is that his empire is crumbling before our eyes. The brands he worked so hard to build, the artists who once revered him, and the fans who idolize him are all distancing themselves from the scandal. Even his longtime business partners are reportedly cutting ties with him. It's a tragic fall from grace for someone who once had it all. Diddy was on top of the world, a symbol of... It's a tragic fall from grace for someone who once had it all. Diddy was on top of the world, a symbol of success and perseverance. But now, he's facing the possibility of spending the rest of his life behind bars, stripped of everything he once held dear. Well, there you have it, famous fans. We're deep in the scandal of the century, and trust me, this roller coaster ride is far from over. Stay tuned as we continue spilling all the tea on Diddy's downfall and the jaw-dropping developments sure to come.
Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop. And as always, you're tuned into Famous Faces Scoop TV, where there's never a dull moment. Bizo bizo.